Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband, the road to Bannerlord. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Yeah. So yes, welcome back to the series. So, I've been playing a, a fair bit since the last episode. If you watched the very, very end of the last episode, which you probably didn't. Um, so I think next episode, I think it's time that we uh, become our own faction. It's about time. You would know that I said it is time to leave the Nords and we're going to join our own faction. And that is going to be the goal for this episode. We're going to try and leave the Nords and start our own kingdom. And the start of, you know, world domination, the whole point of this series. So, uh, yeah. But while I was with the Nords, I thought I would spend some money on some nice gear since I was making a fair bit of money. Well, I still am making a fair bit of money. But I'm also going to go and get married. So, as you know, I was talking to this other... I was talking to this other female, but by the time that I got approved by her father, she was already betrothed to someone else, to that girl lad, that bloody girl lad lad. Anyway, so I started uh, talking to this lady, Lady Maya, or Mia, anyway, let's talk to her, and hopefully she says yes. Ah, she does. Amazing. Alright, what I need to do now is go get a permission, and uh, we are good to go. Oh, there he is. I love doing a massive lap of the whole map, and he just ends up being back to the place where I left. Amazing. Alright, wish to ask you something. I wish to marry your daughter. Lovely. Splendid news, my young man. I shall be proud to have you in the in our family. Now, I'm not even trying to talk like him. Jesus Christ. Anyway, um... Jeez, that's expensive. Eight grand. Jeez. The things you do for right to rule. Alright, so all we need all we need to do now is uh, is wait and get the call and we're gonna get married. How good is that? Um, so the reason why I'm doing this is to get some right to rule. As you know, character reports, if I go here, our right to rule is 39, and that will go up a fair bit as well. <clears throat> as you know, my goal was to get it to around about 50, because when we do make our own faction, it's gonna, it's gonna make it so much easier to get lords to join us. It's gonna make everything so much easier. So while we wait for, um, you know, the marriage thing to get sorted out, let's take a look at the map, because obviously we're on, well, we're on day 200 now. So the, um, yeah, the Saranids have been getting destroyed, as you can tell. This is a good and bad thing, because um, the Kurgut aren't exactly tough to beat. Maybe on the open field, because they're all cavalry, but when it comes to defending and, you know, taking castles, it's a lot easier compared to, you know, let's say, the Swadians. And um, in the, in, in the like, long amount of time I've spent, you know, in between the, the last episode, I have been scouting around, and there are some settlements which don't have large garrisons, so, yes, um, I will be definitely scouting out uh, one of these before we uh, lead the Nords. Um, the, the annoying thing is, is that we have been given three villages. We actually own three villages now. If I go to notes and character, you can see. Um, and they all they are making me some some nice money, but uh, it's not a castle. So something else I did. Um, so for the other one to get the father's permission, I felt like I had to I had to get a higher. Oh, what's this? I'm just to the peer of the realm. King Ragnar's. Oh, that's another village, I think. Ibrin. Ibrin is a village. I remember seeing that somewhere. Where is it? Oh, it's there. Oh, I've got a fourth village now. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? So, the original, um, the, the original woman that I was going for um, was in Wurcheg, and her father wouldn't allow me because she was betrothed to someone else. Oh, well, he wasn't betrothed yet. He was just he was he was uh, he, he was a match, and he had a higher. Um, he had a higher reputation than me, so I felt like I had to get a higher reputation. Now, a really, really easy way to get a lot of reputation is just two tournaments. You get about, I reckon about 15 to 20. I, I'm not sure if it's the same amount each time. I can't remember, but I did maybe about 20 tournaments. It also made me a lot of money. As you can see, I've still got lots of money. I spent a lot of money on gear, and I just spent 8k on this wedding. So I've been making a lot of money for myself. Um, sometimes when your town, like your hometown has a tournament, you can do just tournaments every single day. And I did maybe like five at a time. So yeah, and that's what I did. But by the time I had enough reputation and he allowed it, she was already betrothed and I couldn't do anything about it. So that sucked. So then I came over here, but then this woman wanted me to be more honorable and I didn't have much honor at all. Um, not that I wasn't honorable. It was just that I didn't have much of it. Now, the way that you can get honor is, for example, so when you fight a lord, instead of capturing them, you can let them go, and you gain honor from that. Um, when you do missions like, you know, hunt the lawless villain, um, you don't accept the blood money, you gain honor from doing that as well. You gain honor from helping villagers and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, if you ever are getting married and she's like, nah, I want you to be like, you know, I want you to prove yourself to be more of a man, all that crap, um, that's one way you can get honor as well. And, uh, yeah. Ah, finally. That took so goddamn long, like, I don't know. How long does it take to prepare a bloody wedding? Jesus. Alright, here we go. Let's go talk to, 
the dad and like say, yep, here we go. I post the same. Let us be husband and wife. There we go. And uh, look, we made relations, good relations with everyone. Lovely, look at that. Fantastic. And that's the Swalian banner. That's uh, awkward. So after all that planning, they get the wrong banners. They had one job. This is lovely, isn't it? This is absolutely lovely. Always love a good wedding in Mountain Blade. Fantastic. Uh, there I am. Fantastic. Wonderful. Yep, yep, cool. Here we go. There's Ragnar, yes, the king. <laughs> and there's a Swadian there's a Swadian flag again. Cool, amazing. Brilliant. Now it's raining coal. Cool. Alright, so I'm now married. That's fantastic. So now if we check our <clears throat> if we go to our reports and go to character. So our right to roll is now fifty-four. Look at that. Fifty-four. So this when we go and decide to, you know, Start our own faction, getting lords to join us should be no task at all. It should be very easy. So this was the castle I was thinking. Now the garrison is 162, which is a lot. But saying that though, oh, we have such an elite army, I think we could smash that. Also, the amount of prisoners there are, there's 58 prisoners. So I think, even if we lose half our army, which we probably will, there is a lot of troops in there. Now the reason why I say that, because we've got huskars which can melt everything. I've got a few Swadian sergeants, I've got the sharpshooters, which will shoot half them from the walls anyway. I also have the longbowmen, which are just as good. And I've got a load of Nord veterans, and I think that's it, yeah. Oh, I've got some slaver chiefs as well, which are just really good as well. As well as all my companions, which are all really geared out, and all their strength is like 12, and they all have like, you know, 150 in their skills, so... I think we have a good chance of taking this out. The only problem is, is that while I'm sieging it, it's the other lords coming to attack me. Once I have the castle, I'm fine. I'm not I'm not scared about owning the castle. I also think this mod gives you a garrison, which I might remove because it's a bit of a cheat, but uh, I'm pretty sure because of the custom troop thing it, it does, that uh, it will instantly give me like a massive garrison. That's just how the mod functions. And I don't think I can help that. So I might remove that garrison also because that'll be a bit of a a bit of a cheat. Well, it's finally time to uh it's finally time to lead the Nords. Here we go. I'm very, very upset about this. It has actually been fun, and honestly, it makes more sense to actually stay with the Nords. <laughs> but uh, obviously, we have a goal for this series, and we got to stick to it. So uh, here we go. All right, wish to wish to be released from the oath. So we will say goodbye to those four villages that we owned. <laughs> so um, there we go. So we're still in good relation. Like twenty relations, still good with King Ragnar. Uh, eventually, we will go to war with him. Um. That's saying if everything goes well, so, uh... Anyway, let's go and move on to the next big adventure. Uh, everything's not going to be as easy anymore. Now, from what I remember, um, this faction here is at war with, um, the Vegas. I think these two guys are at war, so... I'm hoping that is at least going to distract some of the lost, because that, that guy's got a lot- <laughs> That guy's got a lot of troops. So, uh, we shall see. So, what you can do... Alright, I'm pretty sure if we just attack a villager, we can uh, go to war. There we go, now we'll leave. Now we're at war. And that means we can now assault this. Besiege, prepare ladders, do it. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. We're doing it. Alright, here we go. Legion soldiers into an assault. <sighs> here we go. Alright. Alright, we've, uh. Oh my god, they're all falling off. <laughs> Here we go, lads. Here we go. Give him hell. Uh, this is one of the maps where all the troops get stuck behind the things. <laughs> right. So, obviously, this faction reversing, they're all horsemen normally. So, this is why their troops aren't as good. But, um... Let's see if we can shoot some off, shall we? He's off. Take him out. I haven't used my bow in a while, so a bit rusty of this. See if we can uh, shoot some, shoot shoot some from down here. Since there's, there's no way I'm gonna make up, up this ladder anytime soon. As you can tell by the kill feed, we are mincing them. This is exactly what I predicted. Let's take this guy on here, and he's dead. Push, lads, push! All right, so we've made it to the top of the walls. Let's get all the archers to follow me now. 
So what we're going to do, we're now going to put all the archers down here to shoot them from below, since all the fighting is on the wall. We're also going to have to hold fire for now, just so we can get here a little bit faster. And we'll place them all down here. And because they're not firing, they should get into position nice and fast. Not that, not that, not that we need our archers, as you can see. We just, uh, I didn't think it'd be this dominating, to be honest. I think I underestimated how good Huskulls are. Anyway, I'm not complaining. All right, here we go. Let's quickly put all the guys here and pull them to fire at will. Now we should start shooting them in the back. There we go. Lovely. And take that. Take that and take that. Looks like these are the last ones up here. Let's see, we'll take them out, lads. Ow. Take that. And take that. That it? That's it. We won. We have taken the city. All bloodied up. <laughs> and we only lost five. Okay, I thought we'd lose like half, but uh There we go. And oh my god. Not that we need them, but um We can take some troops as well. I don't even know who I want. There's so many. Oh, I definitely want him. And we've got some items as well. I don't know that's better than my bow. I don't think so. Maybe 21 damage. 21 damage. It's not as fast. Anyway, I might just take all the stuff. Yeah, let's just gather all of it. There we go. Lovely. Yes, I want it for myself. Um, share. And we shall make... What's the name? Katrin. Let's make Katrin the... Whatever you want to call it. Now, what do we call our kingdom? I have no idea what to call our kingdom. Um... I guess we could just leave it to John Hawkwood's kingdom. I think we can change it in the future, so, uh... Yeah. There we go. There we go. Um, no, I don't want to change the domestic policy. Whew. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. We have two villages, and there's our city. Oh my god. What a... What a great achievement we've got. It wasn't that hard. I did definitely over-prepare for this, but, uh, you know what? Here we are. So what we can do now... And that we can customize your kingdom's troops, but I believe once I do that, all of my current troops will change to what this is. So I think that, I think I think that is a good thing. So basically, all the troops I have right now, the sergeants, the huskals, sharpshooters, they will all change to whatever troops that I customize them to. So uh, that is the only downside. So all the troops that we have, we will say goodbye to, even these cool new ones we got. But I think I want to leave that for another episode. I think I want to start because this customizing troop things does take a long time. And uh, right now, I am not prepared. I'm not mentally prepared. So I'm going to really quickly recruit some troops before. Cause I, I'm going to assume I'm going to get attacked right now. And I'm pretty confident that we will be able to defend this against anything they throw at us. Just because I don't think they're very strong. Um, like I said, on the battlefield, yes. Very, very strong. Um, with all the horses, it's a nightmare. But right now, I, I'm not scared. Alright, let's check out this. This is our new, uh, who's that? Do I know you? My name is John, I'm at your service. Um, who they call me? The pearled one, mother of, oh, I think I know what this is. The rightful queen, all that shit. Here's my wife, yes, my husband. Look at that, lovely. So I've got my chancellor, hello chancellor. Um, I think we get some other guys soon. Katrin, I'm just patching S. Uh, yeah, so I think we get someone soon that will be able to get us to get some new troops and stuff like that. So that's exciting. And I think on that note, we'll leave it there. I'll just show you quickly what happens. So when you press customize your troops, um, you can choose the tiers. So it's basically like what they upgrade to. Um, the default one for me is normally the three. So you can have your archers, your infantry and your, so your archers, your infantry, and your cavalry. Um, for example, so like, so like the Nords, they don't have cavalry, so they have the infantry and their archers, they only have two, um, and they have more tiers. 
Uh, but this, uh, so this is what I usually go with. Select male or female. And then you basically customize your troops. The prefix is just the name that goes in front of it. So for example, I'll just do like Hawkwood, um, like that. And then they will change to Hawkwood and then this would be called this Recruit or something like that. Uh, oops. Like that. And then you basically go around and pick all their gear. I'll, 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 I'll do this all in the next episode, but just to quickly give you a quick idea. Um, so you get a certain amount of money per tier. Obviously you don't get much because this is the, the starting one. Um, you change the, their stats here. Once you're done, you press save. And then it'll basically save all up to that, after that. Uh, but once I press exit out of this, everything is going to change. So all my entire party are going to change those troops. Um, that's just the, like, like a mod feature. And I also, it also has given me a huge garrison, which I probably, I will probably get rid of just because that's kind of cheaty. But um, anyway, that's what I'm going to do um, for now. And so I will see you in the next episode. We're going to customize our own army and then uh, start this crazy adventure of uh, world domination. So I hope to see you there. Tata for now.